You know, it's a very careful thing you got to do. I was an anonymous referee. When I called the editor, I said, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, leopards actually only appear several million years after bipedalism, reduction in canine size, cooperation. There are plenty of giant eagles, but they don't need to be that big to do this. That little Tong Chow was probably only 10 to 12 kilograms and it was killed and eaten. How do I say killed? How do I know that this guy murdered that child? Because of that depression fracture on the top, which now, of course, we know what it is. That's done at the moment of impact. Swooping down from behind, these eagles whack the primate with these enormous talons on the back, driving that little talon through and into the brain. It would be like putting a gun to the head. That's that little tongue child in you going, whoops, they're up there too. He said no, go with it. And, uh, and, and as I said, I can't. Now look up on It's ancestor Really, it's coming out. Yeah. This is the first one, and then we got uh, yeah. okay. uh, a couple of others. So For 80 years, we thought that a mammal, maybe a leopard, had killed the little tong child. What we can now prove beyond reasonable doubt is that this little child, three and a half years old, living two million years ago, was killed by a large predatory bird of prey. Um, the uh, paleontology and other research. Two institutes of this, the Institute for Human Evil. Now what we're doing roughly 10 years ago, I think, um, leopard, one and a half to two million years old, the canines of which fit. 